Hi there, welcome to the hub and today we're going to be solving this 3D static equilibrium question. So these are typically long questions and we have to be careful as we solve them. So we'll go step by step showing you the exact steps in how to solve these problems. So we know we have to have equilibrium, right? Therefore, some of the forces acting on the system must equate to zero. And we know that the sum of the moments about the axes must also must also equal to zero in this case i put o we're looking specifically about what the x-axis rotation the y-axis rotation and about the z-axis so the whole moment must equal to zero so in this case we have six equations of equilibrium we're going to use all of these as we solve these questions so we know in this case that we have a mass of a window which is 20 kilograms so we're given the weight and this acts at the geometric center of the window at point g so we know that and the windows attached to A and B by two hinges. So we have a hinge at A and a hinge at B and these are idealized as a ball and socket supports. So this question is tricky. They're trying to tell us that we will have no moment reactions. Typically for hinges, we have moment reactions, right? Along in this particular case, it's going to be along the X axis about the X and also about the Z axis. But in this case, we will have none because we know a ball and socket support We'll have what a reaction in the x let's say that's the x-axis a reaction in the z and a reaction in the y so we will have three reactions only and no moment reactions because it's allowed to rotate freely for moments specifically you have this socket in your shoulder it's very similar so we want to determine all the forces acting on the window at, as it's held open position by the rope attached at c so we have a rope here so we're going to have some form of tension, right? And we know that the hinge at B has been modified to allow for translation along its own axis of rotation. So what's the own axis of rotation at B? It's going to be this axis. So it's going to be along the Y axis. So here we will have no reaction at B. So we're, the hinge is modified. Always read the question. So in this case at B, we're only going to have reaction in the X so bx and a reaction in the z bz but for a we're gonna have a reaction in the x y and z because we have no modification for the hinge at a it's treated as a bond socket support so let's begin by drawing the free body diagram always do this begin by the free body diagram so in this case we will have all of the reactions at a in the x y and z we will have only reaction in the x and reaction in the z remember b was modified as denoted by the question and we will have a tension in the cable. I'll call it TCD. And we have a weight. So the weight of the, what what is this? It's like a, what do they call it? Window. So the weight of the window is at G, right? So this is the free body diagram. Let's proceed. Step two, we want to determine all the forces and moments in Cartesian vector form. This is so important. Have your forces and moments in Cartesian vector form. At the end of the day, we're going to do R cross f right f is all the forces in cartesian vector form so we need these so for tcd we take the magnitude tcd times the unit vector the unit vector is the position vector from c to d so find the position vector from c to d up do your coordinate points and we find the position vector cd then we take the magnitude of rcd it goes on the bottom and we get 1.461 then you can solve for tcd in cartesian vector form meaning i j k always have this then we denote the weight in cartesian vector form we're told the windows 20 kilograms it's negative so it goes down negative is down and strictly acting along the k hat direction right k hat is along the z so we're denoting the direction so it's going to be what zero in the i plus zero in the j minus 196.2 in the k once we do the math here then we have reaction forces so the reaction forces at a are going to be ax in the i ay in the j and az in the k then the reaction forces at b are going to be the following but at b we have no j right we only have the x and the z essentially our i and k so denoting that what we do next i like to 
do this equation always these are the steps that i typically follow we apply the 3d force equations of equilibrium and we equate all of the i j and k components from the forces above so we do the sum of the forces in the x we extract all of the i components in this case then we do the sum of the forces in the y must all equal to zero we extract all of the j components and we do some of the forces in the z we extract all of the k components what do i mean by extract so if i looked previously in the x what do i extract so let's look at the tension force i take this out because x is i right x is i so essentially i take this out let me erase this i take that out for the tension this i do nothing with the weight but for forces i'm gonna take this out and take this out right these are the reaction forces so i extract those and i put them in my e equation right for the i components you do the same for the j and the k so that's that now notice we couldn't solve for anything using these equations of equilibrium this is the sum of the forces must equal to zero right we didn't solve for anything so now we have to proceed by taking the moment about a point to eliminate the most unknowns so in this particular case it's going to be point a we can eliminate ax az and ay so at the end of the day we're solving for all the forces acting on the window once again so we're going to take the moment about a since we didn't find nothing here we might come back to these we might not i like to always have them so let's proceed now if we take the moment about a we know that the moment about a is r cross f right in this case i chose the position vector rad times the tension rab times the reaction force at b and rag times the weight so i need these position vectors right rad rab and rag they're denoted in the figure here so we always need these position vectors we do d minus a b minus a g minus a do your coordinates and we can find our position vectors after having the position vectors we do the cross product so we have each position vector we have each force vector in cartesian vector form remember we did this in the following step so we all we have that and we just plug those in so we do r cross f for each one of these and in this particular case the i used specifically using the determinant method to solve the cross product so you can use any method you would like some calculators also solve them so if you do the method you should get this at the end of the day i use the determinant method and now reducing it further we get up to here so all of the moments some of the moments about a must equal to zero right i equate this to zero do not forget to do this so now we equate i j and k components meaning i extract all of the i components that one that one that one and i put it in the equation right this must equal to zero then i extract all of the j components equal to zero i extract all of the k components and equate this to zero we have equation four five and six so we have these new equations and now we can begin by solving for the tension cd i can solve for the tension cd because i know in this particular case my only unknown here is cd we have one equation one unknown we can find for the tension after having the tension i can plug this tension in cd into equation six whereas equation six it's this i take this tension cd and plug it here i can solve for bx that's good we found bx that's the answer now we take tcd again and you plug it into equation four and solve for the reaction at z so my reaction b sub z i plug in here solve for b sub z that's good i have that now we can solve for the reactions at a by what using equation one two and three and remember these equations we have already one two and three the force equilibrium so what do we do here we know bx and we know bz i can plug in in here and we know the tension cd so our only unknowns would be ay ax and az so using those specific equations i can solve for ax ay and az so what have we just found here we've determined all of the forces what do we want all of the forces acting on the window so these are the reaction forces and the tension in the cable so yeah that's all and i hope that helps